Okay, so in this video I'll be showing you what you can do in case your bell siphon is not breaking. This one starts perfectly, but it doesn't break after going all the way to the bottom. So in this video I'll show you how to do that. So to begin, you want to first take this part of your bell siphon and then we'll get to the part that will help it break. So let's get to it. Alright, so for this particular bell siphon, um, what I'll do to help it break um, the siphon when it starts is I'm going to attach this piece of tubing inside the actual siphon. I'll show you how it looks when I put it over there, but to do that I'll be using a quarter inch drill bit and drilling at an angle because I want this part of the tube to be over here where the siphon is starting where this is the water getting sucked in so I need this part of the tube to be over there. So I'll drill um, with a quarter inch drill bit at an angle up to there. So what I'll do is I'll first rinse it out because I don't want any of the pieces of plastic. And then I'm going to shove this up through here. So you can see in here, um, I have the hole right there. And then this tubing will go up through here at an angle and come out there. So let me rinse it out and then I'll put it through there and show you that. Okay, so I got it in there. Um, the idea is this will go down to the bottom and come back up so air can enter and go to the part where it's, where it's siphoning. I'll show you that when I attach it. I might have to cut the tube, but that's how it should be going into the center where the siphon will be starting and breaking. Okay, so we're here at my grow bed right now, and you can see this is where my siphon is. That part that I was showing you will be attached to this. Here, I can take it out. Stand pipe. This pipe will be attached to it at the top, like so. And then this pipe goes down and then back up around the outer covering of the siphon so let me it's hard to do this with one hand All right. so I got my camera down so you can see this is how the the siphon will look it will go down and then up the bottom so this goes over like this this is attached to my bulkhead fitting and then the pipe goes up like this I'll probably have, I'll have to cut it shorter but then what happens is the air goes through the pipe and then back up until until here and then it helps break the siphon so I'll put it on there and show you how that works and then this piece is actually to help the siphon start faster it creates the siphoning effect so that's just that so that's how it looks and then you see it's filling up right now it's hard to see there's the water coming up. And now the siphon started. Alright, so to show you what, how the siphon works, is you see the, the bottom of down here, the tube you have is going up like this. The water level goes down. It only activates as soon as the water level goes below here, then water, air is able to enter and go up. So once the water level goes like right around here, then the air, the air is able to go under it and back up. So that's how this this kind of um, assisted bell siphon works. Alright, so it's almost at the bottom. I cut it shorter so I can show you how it actually works. You can see the pipe down there kind of. So the water is going to go to that level and then the siphon will break. So you can see the pipe coming out. Water's going below it. And then as soon as the water goes below the lowest, below the pipe, air will come through it. This way it basically helps it break faster because, you know, the air, the air goes through the bottom, but then it also comes, a little bit goes through the bottom, but then since it comes through this pipe, it helps the siphon break faster. Right, there you go, and the siphon broke. So now it will fill back up. In the video you just saw how I made, or how I upgraded this specific bell siphon, I'm just gonna show you what I did now. I changed it a little, to make it a little better. So this thing works well. And then what I did is I, since the pipe kept coming out, I attached it like this with some zip tie, as well as on the inside you can see. So this 
particular bell siphon is good if the bell siphon has uh, works a little and uh, this helps it improve a lot more because as the air goes down to the bottom or the water goes down to the bottom air is able to enter so this makes it more effective so that is how I improve this particular bell siphon if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe